Hey y'all, welcome to Drum Hacks. This video is all about hand technique. You learn the very basic concept of holding a stick, wow. the most effective ways to get there, wow. how to spot out the usual mistakes, wow. and finally, I show you a nice little hack that will guarantee you a perfect grip while playing. There is a textbook version of how to hold a drumstick. It looks like this. It is the textbook version because it's the most natural and relaxed grip you can have. It's also absolutely essential in understanding literally every other technique out there. So if you are already an advanced or experienced player and you struggle with stuff like push-pull or molar, it might be a very good idea to check if you got the basics down. So in order to get a relaxed grip, how about we get real crazy and start out with being relaxed. So here's the in-depth version. Put down your sticks, you let your arms hang loosely at your side, raise your forearms. Now I can already put a stick between my thumb and my index finger. Close the rest of my hand very loosely around the stick, just enough to hold it. Straighten out my wrist and I'm done. Wow. The only thing you have to worry about is staying relaxed. Let's do it again to a little bit more detail. So check out my thumbs. They're not facing forward. They're also not facing to the side. In fact, you can try it. When you do that, you can already feel a little bit of tension. So let your arms hang. Ugh, tension. Ew, tension. When I raise my forearms, I literally just raise my forearms. I'm not extending my elbows. I'm not hunching my shoulders. I just raise my forearms. When we have a closer look at my hand here, which looks pretty ridiculous hanging like that, check out my thumb. It's already exactly on the opposite side of the last knuckle of my index finger. So we can grab a stick pretty easy while still maintaining the natural hanging position of our hand. So we just close the rest of our hand very slightly. Straighten out the wrist and again, perfect grip. Some people tend to overthink things and might constantly be worried about doing the right thing. For a nice little shortcut, we can just throw the stick in the air, half a turns enough, and catch it. After I caught the stick, I freeze, turn around my hand, perfect grip, and a little bit more detailed. So when you throw the stick, you might have to do that for a while, just to feel comfortable doing it. You have to be able to catch the stick with ease. After you freeze, don't rearrange your fingers all of a sudden. Don't squeeze the stick. Don't do anything different. Throw the stick, catch it, freeze. When you turn around your hand, the only thing that might be a little bit different is your thumb. Check out, it's halfway off the stick. So just put it on the stick and everything is perfect. If you're teaching kids, uh, you can also imitate a little finger animal, like a shadow play kind of thing with little ears and a little mouth. Here's the stick, here's the animal, animal, stick. Nom, 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 nom. Flatten the ears. Pull the stick towards your hand. And again, you're done. Super young kids naturally won't be able to stay relaxed. So for them, uh, just make sure they're not wrapping their index finger around the stick and get back to all the other stuff a little bit later. So we have a nice and relaxed grip now. 
next thing we want to do is hit a drum. And we want to do that by moving our wrist. No arm, no fingers, just our wrist. Nothing in our grip changes. This is usually where people start messing up for a couple of reasons. Um, the rebound of the drum can make us squeeze the stick. Our grip slowly will get tighter and tighter and tighter till our nice little space here closes up and our index finger is wrapped around the stick. And suddenly we have a pretty tight grip and not a nice relaxed grip. But squeeze too hard. Also, you might not be used to do wrist strokes. So naturally you tend up to open your fingers when you do strokes. Let's face it, you might not be able to be in control of all these things at once while you're playing. Um, and here's how you fix that. Put your thumb against the last knuckle of your index finger. Make a very loose fist with the rest of your fingers. This is basically the quick version of what we did before, only without sticks. So the tip of my index finger is now sticking out a little bit. I can actually play with that. Make sure your arms are still in your natural hanging position. So when I raise my forearms, my index fingers are not pointing straight down, they're in a little bit of an angle. So keep an eye out for that stuff. This little hack has tremendous advantages. It's basically not possible to close this space here. You also won't be moving your arms. You won't open your fingers. There's no rebound. So it's basically very easy to stay focused on being relaxed and loose. And the biggest plus, it's very quiet. But how do we hit a drum now? So check this out. My hand is already in exactly the same position as it would be holding a stick. It's also moving in the same way as it would be hitting a drum. When I'm actually hitting a drum, I can imagine that I'm hitting the air with the tips of my index fingers. And wow, wow, we get perfectly relaxed wrist strokes 100% of the time without doing anything weird. So this little hack, it's not my invention or anything. It's been around forever and it's incredibly helpful because it basically eliminates all potential grip problems from the start. It does not matter if you're at the office, in your car or watching YouTube videos. You don't need sticks, you don't need a practice pad. And most importantly, you won't bother anybody around you. So good luck, have fun and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more drum hacks. Bye.